Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers, and this is Dot, my sweet little rescue puppy. And she has got a huge bone that she's going to go carry off and spend a little time with. Dot, you going to give me the bone? You going to give me that? <laughs> yeah, she loves those big old rawhide bones. This is our brief message of hope for today, and uh, we're starting a new work week, and uh, I hope you're in a good place today as uh, this Monday rolls around that uh, you're able to experience some love and the mercy of the Lord right where you are. Uh, this is still the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, that's why we're here. Uh, in our gospel lesson at Mass today, uh, a young man with a lot of money comes to Jesus uh, and asks uh, what he had to do to inherit eternal life. And uh, Jesus has a little question and answer session with him and says, well, to, to keep, you need to keep the commandments. And uh, the young man says, well, what commandments are those? And Jesus lists four of them and uh, then says to love your neighbor as yourself. And the, the young man said, I've done all those things all my life. And Jesus says, well, then you only lack one thing. Take uh, what you have, sell it, all of it, and give the money to the poor. And then come, follow me. And Dot just brought her bone back. You go, chew on it, Dot. Sometimes she likes playing tug of war with those bones. Uh, and the young man could not part with his possessions. Uh, it turns out that his possessions actually possessed him. He could not leave them behind. So even though this man with a lot of money was uh, given the apostolic summons, just like Peter and Andrew and James and John, come follow me, he could not do it. And so he walked away uh, sad as Jesus and the rest of his entourage headed up uh, from uh, Jericho to uh, Jerusalem uh, for the final encounter there. And so uh, on this day... Let us remember that the most important thing is to give ourselves completely to the Lord, knowing that he is going to take much better care of us than we do of ourselves. Uh, we offer ourselves, uh, body, mind, and spirit, into his hands, uh, knowing that he is a benevolent and loving Lord uh, and will do for us the things that we can't do for ourselves, including helping us to make a positive difference in the world for him. He's the one who allows us to do that. And so, before Dot knocks the camera off, she's uh, decided not to play with the toy today. I was just thinking of the wonderful hymn, Just As I Am. Big bone. <laughs> we'll see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.